Hello and welcome to another video brought to you by the good people at FM Wonder Kids. Today we are reviewing season 13 of the Wolverhampton Wonder Kids. Now it's gone very, very well. Uh, we've won a couple of trophies. We didn't manage to clinch the Premier League and if you've seen the last couple of videos you'll know all about that. We went for the quadruple but we didn't quite get there. Um, so if we head on over to the news feed now we can start reviewing the season. So if we have a little look here, let me just find the correct, correct screen. Where are we? There it is, the review. So it was a memorable season for Wolves as they tasted success in the European Champions Cup. So we won the Champions League again. We won the FA Cup again. We won the Carabao Cup. And we won the Community Shield. We didn't manage to clinch that league title unfortunately a couple of losses and a couple of draws in the league campaign were our downfall now i haven't actually played this game um for a little while so it'll be interesting to see um how the season went obviously we did the um the quadruple episode um followed by the two cup finals the fa cup final and the champions league cup final i filmed those a couple of weeks ago so i haven't actually loaded this for a while um, so we'll see how how the season went but obviously it was a really good one in terms of cups so like I say Champions League, FA Cup, Carabao Cup, Community Shield okay so the season the year is 2031 slash 32 season so um, a lot of our original players have gone now so we'll head on over to the squad and we'll have a little look here we'll sort by I think we'll sort by age so we go general info so my head's in the way there um, let's have a little look here. So if we go to custom filter, YouTube reports, age, there we go. So we sort by age. So our oldest player is Sandro Tonali at 32. And obviously at the start of the game, he is a wonder kid. The same with Greenwood, Galhart. In fact, he's getting up to 29 as well. Um, we tried to tr trim the wage budget. I do remember that. We, do, we did try to trim the wage budget. So um, we'll have a little look at that straight away. Actually, we'll go straight to the transfer screen. And we'll see what we did, what business we did. Because like I say, I haven't loaded this game up for a while, so I can't quite remember, to be fair. So we will review the season. Oh, so loads of outs and no ins. So, a couple of players out on loan. Vinny Jr. we sold for 40... Oh, wow, wow. Why did we sell Vinny Jr.? 40.5 million. Was it a wage budget thing? I think it was. Wow, he's really good as well. He's 31, though, so age and wage. Um, but he's still class. I don't know how Newcastle managed to get him. So 40.5, we sold Vinny Jr. And um, recall it now, man, it, that led us to be able to play Fatty on the left consistently. Um, Fritas went then. Uh, that came to bite us, if I remember rightly. Uh, he scored a couple of goals against us uh, this season. So, But obviously he was a big wage drain and he wasn't playing either. Wasn't getting a, that spot at centre-back. Either footed, very, very good player, but just not quite as good as the other two guys, really, that we had in that position. A couple of guys went out on the free then. Stark loan. So these guys, Stark and Klongs, we're not sure whether they're ever going to fit into the team, to be fair. We're not sure whether they're going to make that step up from the youth system to the first team. So they went out on a loan again. Stark and Klongs. They both have had a little spells in the first team, but... Um, nothing really to speak of. And Diaz then on loan to Juventus, another one of our really good centre backs who's not quite getting in the team. No ins at all then, no transfers. Um, so that has allowed us to give games to the likes of Mason Greenwood, who's actually now 30 years old, but he scored, I think, in, in one or two of the finals. You can check that. Yeah, so one goal in the Champions Cup. I think he scored in the final there. So a few appearances right down the bottom of the screen there for Greenwood. Let's have a little look at our potential. So Ali Smith is obviously still our best. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Every time I look at Ali Smith's attributes, I just oh, I just don't believe it. Passing 19, finishing 18, vision 20, anticipation 20, all the physicals. One of the best players I've ever seen in football manager. Fatty then, he's as good according to my... Uh, assistance and yeah he's insane so the formation then 
all season has been this. Um, for me, anyway, Mikel Arteta obviously has been been running the season. As we know, we delegate that out. Um, Garcia. One of the main takeaways from this season for me is to make sure I sign players on to long contracts because there's been an issue. Genke, who was the future, let me just find him. Hakim Genke, yeah, he was the future for a box to box role. Vision, passing, look at that. But what's happened? He is joining Real Madrid on an end of contract, absolutely free. Zero pounds, and Genka is gone. Really, really sad to see that happen. Um, totally our fault, not being in control of our contracts enough, delegating out too much, and not realizing uh, that we had obviously set we set all our contracts and transfer policy down to uh, down to me. Everything else, obviously, Mikel Arteta, apart from tactics, he can choose the match selection, though. So if we have a little look, then, at the match selections that he was choosing, for example. So you've got a 5-1 win here during the start of the campaign against Watford. Now, if I recall, Mikel Arteta was managing the team here. Yeah, because I would never play this guy. Who is he? So a little look who this guy is. So he's a left-back. You played him in well, his left midfield as well. He's in the under-23s at the moment, Malinowski. Um Decent teamwork and work rate, not really amazing technically. But Mikel Arteta gave him the game there. Yamas has a 9.1 here, and Yamas, as we know, is obviously class. I'm going to look at his, see if his attributes pop up here. No, they don't. So we'll have to click on him. So Yamas is obviously class, if you remember this guy. Passing, 18, vision, 19. So he was the Neves replacement. So this game, 5-1. Miyowski actually scored in the 11th minute, Fati, Yamas and Segas. A couple of bookings, obviously we are tackling hard. If you want the tactic, by the way, it's all available over on Patreon for the patrons. Um, so just head on over there if you want to download our tactic, as well as all the other tactics in all the other series we've got. Lost 1-0 at home to Real Madrid, away to Real Madrid then, but obviously scroll down, bang, we smashed them 3-0 in the neutral venue in the final. Leeds 4-2 in the FA Cup final. Obviously, we failed to clinch the league then. But we talked about Fritas earlier. We've, we sold Fritas to Tottenham and he came back to bite us a little bit. Well, I'm going to show you that game, hopefully, if I scroll down here um, to the Carabao Cup final. Have I passed it? Yes, I think I have. Carabao Cup semi final. Carabao Cup final against Tottenham. So we actually won 3 1. But you can see here, Frita scored in the 21st minute, playing alongside this guy. And this guy, they're all regens at this point. But, um, yeah, came back to bite us. Ali Smith then scored in the 90th minute. And Dembele scored in the 120th minute. You see that, that space there for Greenwood's been freed up by getting rid of Vinny Jr., 40.5 million. And Fatty then on the left with Ali Smith up front and Segas in behind. So we were, or we probably still are, the highest wage spenders in the league. Six million per week is our budget, and we're currently spending 4.9. Uh, that is the highest in the league, so we've been looking to try and get that down. Balance is good. Profit and loss is generally good, um, but we wanted to make sure we were in total control of that. We didn't want it to go out of control so that's our that was some of our results there we'll have a little look at the team report then uh, we usually go into squad depth here is the best um, indicator for us so Ali Smith up front for me then backup would have been Greenwood Fatty on the left but really we didn't once Vinny Jr had gone we hadn't really got a, a decent inside forward on that in that position so I wonder, that would explain why Mikel Arteta played that guy, Miliowski, in that game. Let's have a little look here. See, Fatty plays a lot of games. See, Fatty does actually play a lot of games for us this season. Fatty, Fatty, Fatty. PSG away, Fatty plays again. 
it's like that rhyme, isn't it, where you do your tie, fatty up the tunnel, fatty down again, fatty round the back, blah blah blah, see I don't, I obviously don't know how to do ties, Newcastle away, oh we play against Vinnie Jr, yeah. oh Newcastle beat us, fatty still plays, fatty plays every single game here, Brighton, Greenwood came in on the left there, so Greenwood is either footed, so yeah, that makes sense. Mikel Arteta would have played him on the on the left there as the inside forward, which I like. I like that move from Mikel. Uh, Dembele then on the right gives him actually a game for once. Four appearances in the Champions League, 16 appearances overall with 10 off the bench, 10 goals. So Dembele is 29 now. Uh, we might sell him, might not. We're not really sure about that into next season. So that... The team report then, just so we don't get carried away ourselves, we go back to the team report, squad depth, just so you guys um, can keep up with all these players. So, Gellhart and Dumbelli still mainstays, Segers, Ali Smith for me as backup, still got Veloso Garcia as our box-to-box -box man with a high work rate. He's going nowhere, hopefully Real Madrid won't come in for him. Yamas we spoke about, Veloso and Tonali. So Tonali is still club captain. He's had his testimonial, actually, at the start of the season. Again, we'll have a little look back at the schedule. Tonali testimonial. There it is. 3-2 against Monaco. So maybe that's it for Tonali. Maybe that's the end of the club captain. You'll have to stay tuned into next season to see what happens with our club captain. Who do we pick? Daniel Hoy would be a lovely choice, but he hasn't got any leadership about him at all, which is a shame. But he's our centre back alongside either Ramos or Bergman. Bergman's more solid, round, and has always had more potential, but hasn't quite realised it yet. Um, and then Ramos is better, but can't jump. So it's kind of, none of neither of them are perfect, but they're both very good, if that makes sense. De Holtz, left back, still a mainstay, 27 now, best left back in the world, bar none. Kyrgyzstein and Dalati on the right. Again, rotation. Kyrgyzstein, Delati, very, very similar. Fayette, Sid, and Slattery, our goalkeepers, probably get one of those on loan next season. Staff then, obviously we've got Mikel Arteta as our assistant manager. That's me, that's Mikel. So great acquisition, he's done really well this season. And he's managed, obviously, to get every single cup, basically. He's won every single cup, so he's a good cup manager. We've still got all our directors of football Everyone's the same there. Training, schedule, scouting, transfers. So I think we've done a lot, to be fair. We've looked at our finances. Let's have a little look at the under the development centre. Because this is where we really need to kick on now. Because a lot of these guys aren't really stepping in. Genke, we've lost because we lost control of our contracts. Um, Zaros. Okay, centre-back. I mean, we're, we're quite blessed in the centre-back centre -back area, but that's one coming through. Miliowski, who got a game last season, left-back cover, 100%, for Kirkstein, for um, De Holtz. Behind that, I mean, we're struggling. So, I say we're struggling. I mean, first team is very, very good. So, who are these guys here? That's good, isn't he? 18 years old, inverted winger, so... Maybe get him into the first team, uh, take that Vinnie Jr. spot, and there's a Bradshaw there. So that's it, guys. That's season 13, I think. So won every single cup, just about missed out on the league. Tune in next week to see the next season review. Uh, maybe we can get the quadruple. Is it going to be a brand new captain for the Wolverhampton Wonder Kids? Almost everybody was going to be a regen. Do we keep Greenwood? Do we keep these 13 year old 13? 30 year olds? Do we reduce the wage budget yet again? Guys, thank you very much for watching. Tune in, tune in next week for next season. Don't forget to smash a like on the video. Hit subscribe if you are new. Head on over to Patreon if you want to download our tactics or even just support the channel. Peace.